Right guys, so as I promised like a couple of days ago when the Mauritania tasks came out, I'm going to show you me like finishing them off and getting Comcape back. So as you can see, got all of them at 99, this guy at 99, just this guy 98 and all the other ones at the other side are all 99. So I just need to get this to 99, no, I'm not sure if I can get that in one run but I'm going to try and see any if it does anyway. So I'm just going to start the track as usual. You see here you can actually tell me which which pass what now at this level so just gonna check a few gas I'm gonna do that because that's fast I just need to overload up see my steel tanks is cold automatically so see this pouch is amazing really look at that it's just don't have to bother for the blooming it just works and it's just I think I love it to be fair it's one of the best rewards ever so I've been doing this for so long now this takes quite a long time to level these hard they genuinely are slow. Uh, he's actually hitting pretty decent there, not gonna lie. But they genuinely are really slow and it's just, it is so bad. And the time it takes to get the easy and mediums is just a fraction of what it takes to get the hards. So, that, uh, it's, it is a major problem, the amount of grinding you gotta do. So that's what I don't like, pretty much every update Jagex do is pretty much the best way to train it is to do not the right way. Like, I mean, dungeoneering, they didn't plan on people rushing dungeons. And this, I'm sure, they planned on everyone trekking as fast as they can for XP. I mean, they evacuate, they just tank and it's wrong. But my opinion on the tasks themselves, like, I think they were pretty decent. I don't mind them at all. I like, kind of like the task systems. Well, I hate the task system. I prefer, I prefer the achievement diary system, but, like, you know what I mean, getting the tasks to do. <coughs> <clears throat> I kind of do like enjoy doing them. I guess you think do things that you wouldn't normally do, like brewing ale. Like I never done that in life on RuneScape, so it's pretty interesting to do that sort of thing. However, like when they make the elite task, a task that any look, I mean anyone can do temple trekking. There's no problem at all. Anyone can do it. But all that's doing is getting you to do an easy task thousands of times. How does that make it elite? That's not that's not elite. That's just make forcing you to spend a long time doing it. So, I don't understand why Jaggers would do that. Well, while I'm here, I'm going to show you this side. Because I need to tell you back to the other side. Read notice board. 99, 99, and 99. Pretty epic, not going to lie. Right, so the ring of sling back to the tower and just run south back to there. So, like, I don't understand why this is an elite task. I, I mean, it would have been fair enough with the games necklace one. Because that's not too long to get. It's decent. It's a decent amount of time. You got to do a lot of temple tracking still, but it's nothing compared to this. I mean, this to do this is just a ridiculous task. I think, like, I fair enough. I don't mind really being a completionist requirement, but for to being a task, I don't really like. Like, it was a trimmed completion escape requirement, and obviously it's been downgraded to a completion escape requirement now because it's got to be done for a task. But for a task, I think it's over what it should be needed. If you look at the other achievement diaries and things, you can see all the elite tasks are generally... Most of them aren't hard to do. All you got to do for most of them is um, is just get a high skill requirement and then do something that's pretty simple. Like smith a rune Sebo or something like that. You know, it's just... I don't see why they've made this one just a massive grind. The only other task that's been a grind is the Lifford Farm one because they made, the made one of them to get the first spell in Lifford Farm. I think that's a hard task on Fremenek. And I didn't, I hated that idea as a task, it was stupid. It's just, the turning tasks and from doing something very little, like if you look at the RD Elite Diary, which is the first one, like the Elite tasks are like, catch a manta ray for fish, uh, fishing trawler, or rift draw essence from a giant pouch, you know what I mean? Very easy things to do, but it just have high requirements. <coughs> <coughs> So I don't I don't agree with Jagex's reasoning behind this. I, it's a really really stupid idea to me. Like fair enough, have some temple tracking, but I I assume like the task was going to be chop a tree while wearing a piece of lumberjack or something like that. I've actually got I've got full two sets now and this and a third hat. So that's pretty nice. I say I got none for ages and then I got them all right near the end. So this guy's still not 99. Come on. See how long it takes to get the last few levels. It really does take a while. Oh my god, a bridge. Come on, give me another third piece of lumberjack. I wouldn't complain. I don't, I'm going to end up dropping that hat if I don't get more. Because I don't want to have um, a third a third hat but only two of the others. 
That would just annoy me, having an uneven amount. So come on. Die faster. Plank. Fuck that, I'm, I'm picking up these logs. I'm gonna use the logs. I'm gonna kill them though, because they might drop lumberjack. But waiting. The, the, the take is way too long to spawn. I don't know why the take so long to spawn. I don't see why they can't just spawn instantly. It just wastes time. No drop. Come on. Drop lumberjack. Give me a boots or something. Oh well, nothing. Let's carry on. Right. I imagine this guy will be 99 after I finish this run. But if he levels at the end of a run. I still don't know anything. If he levels at the end of a run, when you exit, you don't get to see if he's leveled or not. Which is also very annoying. See, that one I know it's the shade one where they're all attacking. I take that one's the nature grower one because I hate that one not doing it. And there's another river this way. See, this is what, you, when you're training the hard ones, once they can tell you what's ahead, this is what you want to aim for. And also, a lot of people have been asking, why is the easiest best to do? Well, when they can't tell you what's ahead, easiest is generally, obviously, common sensely, normally the easiest, and hence the fastest. And the main XP you get, you get a little XP for each event. However, you get XP at the end as well. So that's a bigger amount of XP. So right now, I've just ended. It doesn't tell you if it's 99. But right now, I've just ended. That's when it'll tell you the XP that you get. That's when you'll get a big, decent amount of XP. So that's why doing the easiest is best, because you can complete mo more treks in a shorter amount of time. So that's why he gets more XP. So he, he's probably 99 now. Cause, but you can't tell, it doesn't tell you any if, if they level up at the end, which is re very annoying. Because I have got to actually go and check. Hmm. Oh, and he's 99. That means, that means, guys. Oh, yes. Finally, all this effort. Never have to do this again. Right, gas familiar. Let's buy this thing. Right, so that costs 50k, and I get one pouch and 25 scrolls. And it's 50k, and it's terrible. It, 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 honestly, it isn't very good at all. Oh, I've got no summoning points. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I use summoning restore? No, 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 Don't teleport the skeletal horror. Summoning restore. Oh, you've already used it. Oh, there's summoning obelisk skier. Right. I can't believe that's 50k, and it's really, it's terrible. You get 25 skulls. Oh, yes. Task complete. Oh, yes. Now I can put my com cape on. Yes. TUI Jagex for wasting my time. I'm actually gonna go and kill something with it. I wanna test it out. It gives prayer XP for it damages, which is pretty interesting, because that's nothing else any of a familiar does. But it's still not a viable way to train train um Let's cast that and see what it does. Go on, attack the werewolf. Oh, it's not multi combat for fuck's sake. Where can I go that's multi combat? Hmm, I don't know. I want to show you it in action. Where is multi combat? Hmm, 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 hmm. Where's this tally to? Anywhere useful? Uh, oh, Tarnsler, I can go there. Let's go to Tarnsler. I can show you it attacking there. I've never used, I've never seen it attack myself before, so this should be quite interesting. I'm just gonna pray melee. It's doing some special attack. I see what it hits. Two. Two. Is that it? Oh, we hit 169 there. Ooh, that was not that wasn't bad. It's not it's not too bad. It, it, the problem is Steel Titan's better. <laughs> That's the problem. You this costs a lot more than a Steel Titan and it's not as good as a Steel Titan. That's where the problem lies, Jagex. It is pretty interesting how it gives prayer XP though. I don't imagine it's much. And dismiss that never buy another one but that's the guest familiar hope you find that interesting if you've never seen it before so now I've done all the tasks I'm gonna just I'm gonna have to go and get their legs on video so options show all tasks so I can find out where to get the reward easy task right given by east of Patadermus for completing all easy right so how do I get back to there good fight right I'm gonna get back to there and then I'll unpause Right, so I'm back at, like, east of Canopus. Now, I think it's... Is that east of Temple? Yes, it's this guy. Right, let's talk to him and get some legs. Talk about the pass system. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Ooh, lump. Right. 
where Mauritania legs one. Okay, they don't look exactly very good, do they? Alright, let's use this lamp. As you can see, I actually like this. The new interface is weird. Like, I kind of liked the last one. I guess this kind of matches today's interface, but why they changed the order of the skills, I do not know. But what I like is that runecrafting can be a confirm. Perfect, you know? Right, task list. Let's find out where I get the medium one from. Is this a medium task? Yep. Robin and Port Fasmatis. Right. Gonna get the Port Fasmatis and then I'll unpause again. Right, so I'm at Port Fasmatis now and I've just got all the uh, um, elite diary stuff out in my inventory. So I'm gonna show you the full set after I get it all. So let's get these leggings and lamps. I've also got an early burn lamp. Because if you do the easy and medium, I think by the 12th of April you'll get an extra 15k lamp. Not complaining of that. Free 10k room crafting XP there. And another 15k up. Right. I wonder if I'll get the. I know I won't make 20 mil. I'll not be far off though. It's pretty good. Let's see how legs two look. Oh, quite greeny. Doesn't really match the rest of the set at the minute. Right. So let's see where I get the hard ones from. Do 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 do. Is a hard task? Nope. Do 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 do. do. Oh, I think it's the white ones. Right. Yeah. Hard task it was given by the strange old man at the barrows. Right. I can just tell you there quickly. Tell you the barrows. Strange old man. Now he's finally got a use. He's never had a use before. Just stood there and walked around for no reason. Typical. Right, let's go to top room. Let's get these strange little legs. Right. Legs free. Now, these have some quite interesting rewards, to be honest. Right, runecrafting 20k. Like, this, such rewards as like crafting 50%, 10% um, more bloods. One in ten you'll craft one in ten blood runes you craft, you'll craft an extra one. Just randomly, which is pretty cool. And also when you when you use the tellies of the you know the what are they called? The blood tally telly tabs, you will actually fifty percent of them won't break. So basically you get twice as many tabs for your same points like um Great Old Project. Which makes like crafting blood runes a lot more viable as in a money making method. I think it my my friend did, did some calculations, like many people on the high level forum have done some calculations. And it works out to about thirty five K rune crafting XP an hour, including the time that you've got to spend at Great Orb Project. And about set about six fifty K GP an hour. So that isn't too bad, considering thirty five K rune crafting XP an hour is pretty decent for doing that method. Right, um all that old Odd old man Ral in Myoditch. Guys, I don't have a fucking clue where that is. I know where Myoditch is, but I have no idea where that guy is. Let's have a look. Right, he's there. This isn't. Oh, Jagex, why do you put him in such a ridiculously hard to get place? Right, guys, I'm gonna get there and then I'm gonna unpause. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna show you how to get there because. Everyone's going to be like in the comments, how did he get there? But, yeah. I imagine he's will, because I have... I guess you just run east. I'm going to have to take the boat to my edit rather than the teleport to the laboratory. This is probably the best way. If I can remember. Then, yeah, the only task set that's left to come out is the... I'm guessing the Dungeoneering. There possibly could be a desert one and stuff, but it's limited how... Oh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? It's limited how many things we can do with the desert, I guess. But we've got us an item for every slot now, apart from weapon, army, aura, which is actually quite a possibility, to be honest, and the arrow slot. Now, arrow slot is probably not going to come out, let's be honest about that. And then the weapon slot, who knows? We've got the Excalibur, obviously, but the Excalibur isn't exactly a proper reward. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? For fuck's sake. Oh, I got the Tellied anyway. That was weird. Nice glitch, check it. But I imagine that Ami slot will come from the Dungeoneering Diaries. They have been confirmed and they were expected to be the next one. Everyone expected the Dungeoneering Diary to be the next one. But obviously it's been such a long release since the last diary, which I'm not sure which it was. It's probably like Fremenic, which is an awfully long time ago. They were releasing them quite often until that point. And then it's been such a long time and now they've released the Mauritania one. Which I kind of always liked doing the diaries. When I first completed all the elite ones, I was quite proud. It's quite a nice feeling to have Taskmaster. I have no idea where I'm going here, guys. Right, there's a ladder here. Let's climb down that. 
Rocky Digital here. Search Rocky Surface. Right. What did that do? Oh, there's a wall, open barricade. How do you get out of there? I want to get out of there. Climb up the ladder. I can see the green guy. But this place is just a freaking maze. Right, this is clearly the wrong way. Let's go back. This is ridiculous. <laughs> no one knows the way around this place. Everyone who did the quest here knows that. Because everyone just followed the guy. Go this way, go that way, go that way, climb up this ladder. It's just it is a nuisance of a place. Whoever designed it. Well, I guess it's kind of cool for a quest, but when you've got to navigate your way around just to get your freaking rewards, not the best. I'm sure there's a wall you can climb down down here or something. Can you climb down that? Surely this is somewhere. Rubble. Uh. Oh, climb down floor. Right. Knew there was somewhere. I remember doing it at some point. I remember having this problem before. And I climb up this wall. I knew this wall meant something, this little gap here. <clears throat> right, so that shows you how to get there. Oh, come on. How slow can you climb down some rubble? Right, now it's just north up here. I can get my elite leg reward. Such a nuisance for a place to get to. Old man Ral, that's who I need to talk to. Helps if I open the door first. So I'm actually quite looking forward to the Dungeoneering Dairy, so that should be something very interesting. But the other problem with it is... Uh, more. Why is it on the second page? That's a nuisance. More you turn your legs for. Alright, so the other problem with the Dungeoneering Diary to me is you're going to have to obviously do things in dungeons and unless everyone in the team is doing these tasks, surely they're going to rage at you because there's going to be a task like cr plant these seeds, make full armour of something and when you're doing a regular dungeon, that's a massive time waste. It takes so long to do that sort of thing that it's going to slow down the dungeon and Unless everyone's doing the tasks, they're going to be like, what are you wasting time for? But it's going to be a massive hassle to many teams, and that's my problem. And I imagine lots of people will do it in teams with friends when they all do the tasks, but a lot of people don't have the friends to do that, and that's a big problem. I mean, hopefully people won't mind so much, but I imagine it's going to be quite annoying to some people. I imagine if I was getting 120DG and everyone was doing tasks in my floors rather than doing the floors, I wouldn't exactly be happy, would I? No one would be. Ooh, 103k to go. Right, let's put the full set on. Should look quite interesting. Oh, I want to wear my compi. Set. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Let me take my rapier off. Now, the Varrock on my top still looks like it's slightly off colour compared to the rest. Don't you think? And the legs look a bit off, but... Looks pretty cool set, not gonna lie. Skilling in this would be pretty cool. I think I've always liked the headband for like, how it's got a light on it, like a lantern, so a constant light source. Pretty cool, so as you can see we're still in an army, if I take everything else off. There are the slots that we have left. So quite interesting to see what that amulet will do from Dungeoneering, because I imagine it's going to be the amulet, I'm pretty much confident that it's going to be. So that's all for this video guys, and I'm going to go try and get the footage for a lava flow mine to get it out there today. So look forward to that guys if you actually need a guide for that. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you later.